What are the differences between OLED, QD OLED, W OLED, Tandem OLED? First of all, there is no such thing as just OLED. You are going to find some monitors that list just OLED as their panel type. Those are usually still QD OLED or W OLED. You just have to dig deeper in the specs or the reviews to actually see it. And I do want to preface this video before I get that crowd that's like, not everything is about gaming. When we're talking about monitors that go to fucking 240 hertz, we are talking about gaming. Get far. Now QD OLED versus W OLED. I'm going to keep it simple. QD OLED is now completely irrelevant. The OLED purists are not gonna like it when I say this. The only two good things about QD OLED, better colors than W OLED, in my opinion, not that much better, and glossy panel. Problem is, there is glossy W OLEDs now. There's one huge downside about QD OLED, and maybe it's because of the way it works with blue light shining through quantum dots. When there is any light in the room, it gets this blue, purple, disgusting reflection, which defeats the whole point of having an OLED panel, because then you just lose the blacks. Now, I saw some people say, I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on a monitor just to look at black levels. Now look guys, if you're just gonna sit there and type your fucking comments and make very good points, we're not gonna be able to have a conversation. <laughs> there is a lot of different wallet panels. Some of them are matte, some of them are glossy, some of them are true black glossy, like the ones that just came out from Asus. Some of them have dual mode. For example, mine here is the PG32 UCDP. It has 4K 240Hz and then 1080p 480Hz. I can switch it within the monitor and it's better than switching it within Windows because when you switch it in Windows, when you run a monitor that's, let's say, 1440p, you run it at 1080p, it's gonna look blurry and disgusting. Don't do that. And now they release the Tandem OLED. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that properly. Tandem W OLED. I'm just gonna say it in French. Tandem. Tandem W OLED. Tandem OLED. Yes, that's how I say it now. Get fucked. I didn't look that much into them, but this Tandem OLED that just came from Asus seems to be the perfect monitor. It gets brighter, more vibrant, it has the true black glossy, it has everything that you could possibly want from any OLED. And because it's it's a tandem panel, it has better lifespan and a lot less risk of burning, which is the one thing that freaks everybody out when it comes to OLED monitors. It's justified, okay? You don't want your monitor to burn it. But this seems to be the perfect monitor. We're gonna start to get more of these and they are gonna start to get cheaper. Monitors move crazy fast. Asus are releasing a new monitor every two hours. It's like a prescription. One monitor in the morning, one in the afternoon. This is too many. How much e-waste is this? I feel like I just talked for 10 minutes and explained nothing. I gave you no value, but that's because there is so much new shit that keeps coming out. Anything I say right now is going to be irrelevant in two days. 